Can we talk about it? I know the rules in Mexico is a little bit different, but this is extremely different. So apparently a police officer in Mexico earned a promotion on her job by breastfeeding the baby for two days without food during Hurricane Otis, which was a few months ago. And listen, let's give this, let's give this woman a round of applause because this is how you get a promotion. This is how you work your way out the ladder. Breast out, food out. She fed that baby like it was hers. And listen, it's a little bit different down there. I don't know about other women feeding other women's um, kids and stuff like that, breastfeeding. I don't know. I didn't know that was a thing. But now I know it's a thing. All right? Can we talk about it? This is how you get your promotion. This is how you move up the corporate ladder. You not going nowhere in your career? Go grab a baby and start breastfeeding it, all right? I know we're trying to um, fix the equality gap and the payment gap between men and women. And this is the exact way to do it. Note the sarcasm. Listen, I'm just playing. Listen, but if you got to work your way up the ladder, do what you got to do, baby. That baby was hungry and she ain't had no food, so she had to whip it out. Give this woman all the awards, the accommodation. She should be the police chief after this. Listen, if I got hungry babies and I had a way to feed them, I would feed them. Now, I mean, this is why women are the most magical thing in the world because a man couldn't do this. A man would have had them babies starving, crying, but her, all she had to do was pull out the left one or the right one and she fed that baby. She took care of that baby and listen, I want to be breastfed too. How do, how do I go to Mexico? Is this a policy to be a Mexico City police um, officer? I know y'all go through a lot of stress with the cartel, having to fight the cartel and losing against them and losing all your officers, but is this how the, the female Mexican officers make you feel better by letting you put a thing in your mouth and breastfeed because can we talk about it because i'm about to move to mexico city because this is the way this is better than any other 401k health benefits and all of this and imagine you got to fight the cartel before you go out you just get a little suck suck from your captain or your co-worker all right i don't mean to be sexist or nothing this is the story this is the world we live in all right listen men can't do it so women got to do it listen that's the world. I didn't create it. God created it. You deal with it. All right. But this is how you work your way up the corporate ladder. One liter of breast milk at a time. This baby was hungry. She's feeding the whole hood. She is Mexican Jesus. Damn near. Jesus gave out water. He turned water into wine and he turned bread. He made bread out of fish and all of that. And now she's making life out of breast milk. And can we talk about it? I know I got that Jesus analogy a little bit. I need to brush up my Bible. It's been a while. I'm not a good Christian. I'm not. All right. But she is. She's a very good woman because that baby was hungry. She seen it and she put that thing right in his mouth and fed that child, even though if it wasn't hers. Do they get sick or not if you feed them um, other breast milk or ain't it got to come from their mother? I'm a little confused. So let's talk about it in the comment section how you feel about this. Listen. She's feeding the whole community. She is Mother Teresa, Mother Breast Risa. She is not letting nobody starve. If you're around her, she's taking care of the whole community. And this is who you want. She should be the chief of police. After this, she's going to breastfeed the whole force. All right? Imagine you hopped up on Mexican breast milk. You're going to fight the cartel. I'm going to fight the whole cartel with two AKs like I'm Scarface or something. Can we talk about it? Listen, this woman did what she got to do. She did what she had to do, and listen, she fed the community. That baby was not hungry, all right? You don't got no food, no water, just turn to your girl. If you have been in a toxic or crazy situation, and y'all trapped by a hurricane, or earthquake, or any other natural disaster, just look at your girl. Like, yo, give me one of them bitties. Give me one of them bitties. Let me put it in my mouth, all right? And you're going to get re-energized, all right? I want to be breastfed too. You know what? I'm right when I get off this. I'm gonna make some phone calls. Cause now I need some love too. I need some sucky sucky lovey lovey. Can we talk about it? Again, she did what she had to do. She need to be a police chief. She need double promotion. She took care of all the kids. And I know she ain't just breastfeed one kid. I know she breastfeed a couple because she got two of them things. So you can breastfeed two and one. All right. I need to know the procedure of taking somebody else's. Is it like a cow where you could just drink all the milk and the milk is for everybody, even though you're not supposed to drink cow milk? All right. We should start selling that, like simply breast milk or simply this, Oatly, Breasty. I'm about to invent breast milk. Everybody want plant-based and organic, and nothing is more organic than Breasty, the real organic, not plant-based, not made in a plant. It's going to be made fresh out of Mexican breast milk. Again, we already rely on Mexicans to do everything else. They're going to supply all the breast milk. Can we talk about it? Again, this story is absolutely different.
dope, all right? I need to give her all the accommodations, all the awards, because when the men was looking all useless, she was there with the biddies out, ready to feed the whole hood, know what I mean? Can you, I wonder how you could put that in the haracha, or some haracha on the tacos, a burrito taco and a class, glass of haracha breast milk in it. Mm, that sounds delicious. I need some breast milk right now. That sounds very delicious. I need to put some in the coffee. When you start seeing me hyped up and moving, uh, just know I'm got a little breast milk in the coffee. You know what I mean? And speaking of that, speaking of mugs and coffee, the coffee show dot com will be up at the end of this month and I will have mugs, shirts, and all bunch of stuff for sale. Can we talk about it? What would you do in this situation? You feeding them kids or you gonna hide your biddies? For the world and deny them kids that luscious breasty milk. All right, you heard it here first. Breasty, I'm coming for y'all, Oatly. I'm coming for y'all. All y'all plant based milks, I'm coming for y'all for the ultimate milk. All right, got breast milk? Can we talk about it?